Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here today or tomorrow or whenever you're gonna watch this. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing like a full face kind of thing using brands that I have never ever heard of before. So I feel like on YouTube and in the industry, a lot of brands are like very hyped and very talked about, some for a good reason, some for not, but that is a different discussion. And I kind of thought to myself, there's not many brands that I haven't heard of <laughs> until. I think my sister actually asked me about a brand and asked my thoughts and I was like who and as you guys know I am a beauty bay ambassador if you did not know that then hello I'm a beauty bay ambassador so I kind of like pitched this idea to them of doing a full face using brands that I've never ever heard of so I'm really excited because today's video is made in collaboration with beauty bay you guys know I <sighs> I have so much love for Beauty Bay. It's not funny. And one of the main reasons why I actually pitched it to them and thought this would be a great idea was because Beauty Bay stock so many like new and smaller brands as well as huge brands that we all know and love. They stock a lot of smaller brands, brands that are not as well known obviously because this is a full face of brands I've never heard of. So I just thought it'd be really, really cool to try some of these brands out. We could be looking at some like holy grails. You never know. You just, you don't know what's gonna happen. I am not Raven. I cannot see the future. So we're gonna work it out together. This is like a together thing. We'll both just be realizing stuff. I'm just joking, no more realizing stuff. So if you are interested to see how these products perform, then definitely keep on watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you wanna subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. Mm. I love how I say it all the time that I don't make faces because I don't want wrinkles and then I fucking do stupid shit like this. To start today, I'm actually gonna go in with like a priming, hydrating product first of all, just cause I don't know how long it takes to like settle into the skin, so I kinda wanna do it now and then move on to brows. This first product is from a brand called Celex C, and I really, really hope I'm saying that right. Celex C, I think, I hope. So this is a skin hydration complex. I was expected to be like a really liquidy formula, but it's, it's like a gel. I was so, so excited when I saw this, cause I love, obviously love skincare, you guys know I'm huge on skincare. I love stuff like this, it kinda it just really kind of like piques my interest. This says to take a couple of drops of the gel. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's like a, it's a gel. Say gel again, Jack. This is like lube. I can't even believe I just said that. And then it says just to take it and just massage it into the skin. I feel like I took way too much, but what's new? And what I actually found really interesting about this is that it says all the work goes on beneath the skin, so it's not for, it's not for like top layer hydration. So it does suggest to go in with a moisturizer after, which I am gonna do, but I just thought something like this would be like super interesting to try. I think the fact that it works beneath the skin is another thing that piques my interest. I feel like whatever goes on under the skin is gonna radiate out. So I'm excited to see what it does. And if you guys have heard from any of these brands or tried any of their products, please let me know in the comment section what you thought of them, what your favorite products are. I would absolutely love to know. So then back to our regularly scheduled programming. I'm gonna move on to brows and I'm taking the Nabla Brow Divine Ultra Slim Retractable Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Mercury and again this brand is called Nabla. N-A-B-L-A. I chose the shade Mercury just because it looked dark and obviously my hair is dark so I feel like I couldn't really go wrong. It has a spoolie which I appreciate. So then the other end is just like the NYX Micro Pencil or Brow Wiz. It's just like a thin crayon thing. So far, so good. I thought I was gonna have to like really drag the pencil to get any kind of product out, but it's really, really, really easy. I love, 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 love the color. You guys know I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of brow pencils. So having like another one from another brand that I can use is just fantastic. This is like the ultimate first impressions because it's not even just like a product first impressions. It's an entire brand first impressions. I don't know if you guys do the same, but if you try something for the first time from a brand, you kind of like make a decision about the brand. It seems a little hasty because obviously brands have like stuff you're gonna love, stuff you're not gonna love as much, but I do kind of make quick decisions about brands if I try a product from them for the first time. Now that my brows are done, I'm gonna move it swiftly along onto eyes, and I'm gonna take this Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette Volume 2, which looks like this. <laughs> all of these colors are screaming my name. I was drawn to this palette in particular because it says that all of these are like multi-purpose products, so you can use them as contours, bronzers, eyeshadows, blushes, etc., which I think is really cool if you don't have the money to spend on like loads of individual products. In keeping with the theme of my last few videos, I'm not gonna do too much on my eyes or I'm gonna try it I might maybe we'll see I'm probably not gonna f 
with these colours here just because I'm not a cool tone person. You guys are fully aware of this by now. But I do think it is a really great thing for people who do use cool and warm tones that they do have a selection of eyeshadows in here. What I'm first going to do is take this yellow colour and this like peachy Tuscan sun kind of colour. And I'm obviously just going to start by putting that in my crease just as my transition shade. So far they are blending really, really nicely. There's not a ton of fallout, there's like a little bit. So if I like dip in, like there's really nothing to be honest. And then I'm just gonna pick up this deeper orange shade right here. Ooh, that is stunning. And then on a smaller brush, I'm just gonna take this more red shade here. I am literally loving this so far. They've blended so good. Why have I never ever used this brand before? These shadows are just stunning. I am so obsessed. This super, super pigmented. I, I'm gen I'm genuinely in shock that I've never, ever heard of this brand before. I'm really, really quickly going to catch up on my other eye, so I will see you in a second. For mascara today, I'm going in with the Mislin Intense Volume Mascara. Now, Mislin, I have actually heard of this brand now. I think I used the bronzer or the contour in the My Dad Buys My Makeup video. When I picked these products, I hadn't already heard of them, so... And then for lashes today, I'm going in with Doll, Doll Beauty, Doll Lash by Doll Beauty. So these are Doll Lash by Doll Beauty, and this is in the style Jasmine. And this was another one that was really funny because after I picked this product, I think it was like two days later, someone messaged me about a Doll Beauty event. So now I've heard of them, but when I picked the product, I hadn't. I don't know how these are going to look. They look so dramatic, but in like the best way possible. So now that both lashes are on, I'm going to move on to a primer. This is the Art Deco Skin Perfecting Makeup Base. Art Deco, like Lana Del Rey's song. I feel you. So this is a skin perfecting makeup base. It's silicone free. It has vitamin E. It has a lightweight serum like formula. It's unscented. It has no parabens and it's suitable for all skin types. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to take a couple pumps. Oh, I took too much. And I'm just going to distribute. Oh, it feels great. It feels really nice on my hand. I was actually a little bit worried because it says on the bottle mattifying and you'll know I am desert dry. Me and mattifying, we're not friends, but my skin actually looks quite nice apart from this and this and this. And then moving on to foundation, I'm going to take another product from Art Deco. This is the Rich Treatment Foundation. This one always gets me so, so nervous. I think we can all agree that I'm not the best when it comes to shade matching, but I'm feeling hopeful. No, I'm not. That was a complete lie. It says it's a light reflecting cream foundation. This provides a flawless and luminous complexion. It's a luxurious foundation with skin smoothing squalane, scoop, scoop. Skewerlane, whatever that word says. It hides imperfections of the skin and provides your complexion with softness and freshness. A long lasting formulation with medium to high coverage. There's the fing money maker. It's recommended for normal, dry, and also sensitive skin. Yes, Art Deco. Yes. Ooh, okay, this is this is like a cream. I'm on board. I'm here for this. This applicator is slightly weird, but we'll work with it. Shade-wise, I am in the shade Cool 28 Light Porcelain. I say I'm in the shade, that's just the shade I got. I'm probably not in that shade, I'll be honest. Applying this reminds me of the Marc Jacobs. I haven't got it, but everyone else applies it like this. I have no idea how much to put on. Hmm. Okay, okay. I feel like the colour is okay. It's like, mm, like a pinch too dark and too pink, but... It's not the worst colour I've used. But the actual foundation is, like, really, really nice. I don't know why I'm so surprised. I think it's just because of the fact that I've never heard of any of the brands before. So I don't know what to expect. Whereas when you're working with a brand that you are aware of, I think you kind of already have a vibe for them. And obviously people talk about them. Which I'm assuming is how you guys hear about most brands. I am so, so impressed. I love this foundation. I think my skin looks smooth. It looks healthy and fresh. The only thing I would honestly pick up on is that I just want a little bit more coverage, but it does say medium to high coverage. It's not just straight up full coverage. I also think it might slightly be oxidizing a little bit. 
but I'm actually really, really, really loving that foundation, I'll be honest. As I tell you guys all the time, I really, really enjoy mixing foundation, so I think I'm gonna mix this with a lighter one in, like, future. Or just on its own, it's beautiful, but I think it's a, just a little bit dark for me. And then for concealer, I'm going in with another product from Missilin. This is just the Missilin Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I don't know how light this is. I feel like a lot of brands really struggle with dark shades and very, very pale shades. Uh, okay, I don't know how it looks on camera. In real life, it looks like custard. It's very yellow. I, I mean, it does look brighter it's on the viewfinder. I don't know if it does on full YouTube to you guys. But in person, it's very, very, very yellow and not that bright. The actual formula isn't bad. I just wish it was a little, tiny, tiny little bit brighter. But I feel like I can sort that out with a powder product in a minute in a minute in a minute anyway so it's not the end of the world oh i'm taking more i'm just gonna see if i can layer it just to kind of achieve the coverage that i want the coverage is okay i just do have really really stubborn redness on my cheeks the actual product itself as a concealer is really really not that bad at all then to set it this is another product from art deco art deco are fucking killing it so i really really hope this is good this is just the art deco fixing powder i think this is just translucent i'm sure it's like translucent just gonna take that on my damp beauty blender that is so nice why have i never ever used art deco before have you guys used art deco let me know i want to know tell me in the comments this powder is so lightweight and smoothing. I honestly feel like my skin looks smoother, but it's also such a lightweight formula. It's not It's not like a typical heavy setting powder, but it's also not lightweight like the Makeup Forever or something that's really like HG and horrible. Okay, I feel like this powder is my favorite product so far. Oh, drop my beauty blender. It just looks so good. That freaking powder is literally beautiful. Oh, come on Art Deco. I feel like I'm not slowing down on Art Deco. I'm gonna be using the contouring palette. This is the most wanted contouring palette in Cool. So I believe they do a cool palette and a warm one. So I'm gonna be taking uh, contour one and contour three, maybe? No, I'll take contour one and contour two, just to kind of contour and bronze together. Someone needs to explain to me why I've never heard about Taco before. Okay, that blended stunningly. At this point, I'm really not surprised with Art Deco. I feel like they're killing it. And I'm pissed off with myself for not knowing that before. I'm just going to take the highlight shade out of there, like the matte highlight shade. Brighten everything up a little bit. And then for highlight, I'm going in with the OPV highlighter in the shade Glamorous. Ooh, okay, this is very, very, very gold. I didn't actually realise just how gold it was. So I'm going to pick that up on my ABH brush. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm kind of living for this video because I haven't yet been, like, severely disappointed. Not that I was expecting to be, but you do have, like, a certain sense of worry. It's like first impressions videos, just in general. I love first impressions videos, but they always make me nervous that I'm going to hate something and just ruin my face and not know how to pull it back. I'm also obsessed with the fact that this isn't leaving, like, a cast. It just is pretty. Pretty intense. <laughs> I also feel like this shade alone will match so many different skin tones. My nose looks flawless. I know that's really weird, but I don't know if anyone else is like me. My nose just doesn't want to work with makeup ever. I always feel like it's the one place on my face that makeup just doesn't feel compatible with. And I don't know what I've done today. I mean, I obviously know what I've done, but my nose just looks good and I'm not used to it. This is so strange because I don't normally go for such a gold highlight just because they leave a weird cast on my skin because I'm so pale, but this one is just beautiful if opv have a lighter one whew, oh my god i would be so so down for that i'm gonna have a look in a minute actually if they do and then literally just for the sake of using it i'm gonna take the highlight color out of the art deco contour palette I'm just going with a smaller brush i'm not gonna put this like all over but just kind of lay it slightly oh good lord above i also am really obsessed with this like white mixed with gold kind of thing going on obsessed and then for blushes, there's another product from Mislin. This is the Let's Dance Mango Tango Treat Me Sweet Powder Blush. <laughs> what a name. So this is just a really stunning matte light peach. My absolute go-to when it comes to blush colours. Oh, beautiful. Literally obsessed. I'm just going back into the Lunatic palette and taking the same shades I use and just running them under my eyes. I normally skip this, but a few of you guys said that you'd rather me not skip it. So I'm a person for the people and I'm not going to skip it. 
I just find it super boring, especially like if I was doing a different colour under there, then fair enough. But if you guys want to see it, then I will show you. Ah, oh, my eye hurts. And then lastly today for my lips, I'm taking another product from the brand Nabla, which was the eyebrow pencil brand. And this is the matte liquid lipstick in the shade Kernel. It's just got that really good liquid lipstick scent. Okay, well first, come on pigmentation. And then lastly guys, to set everything in place, I'm going to be taking the Super Goop Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary. And here we have it guys, that is the very end of this video, this is the final look, what do you think? My feelings right now are I am so beyond impressed with the product, I think they worked so, so well, but I'm also super annoyed that I've never tried any of them before or heard of the brands before, I'm definitely going to make a conscious effort to use more brands that I've never heard of before, I mean if this is the result... I'm so impressed. Definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section if you have used any of these products before or any of the brands before, then let me know. If you yourself want to check out anything I've used in today's video, I will leave everything listed down below. So you can just check that out, just down there. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up for me. You guys know it helps me out so much. And as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've also just noticed I didn't put bottom mascara on, so I'll have to do that before I take any pictures. If you guys would like to keep up with me on my other socials, everything is just Makeup by Jack. So you can go ahead and like follow me and shit. <laughs> I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much to Beauty Bay for working with me on this video. I love you guys and I love you guys. I will hopefully see you in my next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.